Hi everyone, it's Quickie Baby, and welcome back to World of Tanks. And I hope all of you have finally started to actually work through all of your food from from the holidays and from Christmas. I don't know about you, but I still feel like I'm truly stuffed from yesterday. However, Monami here from the European server is about to claim the biggest reward, arguably of 2022, and that is Monami is going to get the most damage that anyone dealt and at least uploaded it onto the What Replays website. Now, apologies here for the audio bug. There's no way to be able to fix this from this version of the game. Even while rewinding or fast forwarding the replay, you're going to be seeing the E100 stealth panzer here, um, aka the Jagdpanzer E100. This is the tier 10 German tank destroyer and is there any doubt that this one would be the one that has the title of highest damage in 2022 and arguably I don't think I've ever seen a game that was not bugged uh, that has had a higher damage total than this one so to all intents and purposes I think this is like a world record for damage uh, in world of tanks uh, when you when I say bugged you might be thinking what what, what do you mean quacky paps uh, with regards to bugged damage like can that actually happen well sometimes the server can throw a hissy fit and have a hiccup and then everyone apart from maybe one or two players might disconnect and so quite often these huge damage games that you see are actually the only player who's still there who figures out everyone still I'll drive towards the enemy team and then I'll put all of my rounds into stationary objects this is not that case the enemies won't have a single tank that has disconnected and no easy opportunities for Manami to be able to gain free damage now they're gonna have to work for it and what better tank to work for it than the tank that has the highest penetration in World of Tanks. This Jagdpanzer E100 packs 420 millimeters of penetration on its high explosive anti-tank rounds, of which Minami has taken almost exclusively apart from a single HE round. Now, I was thinking, why would they do this? Is this just full pay to win? Because honestly, the armor piercing rounds on the Jagdpanzer E100 are fantastic for overmatching certain plates. Now, you'd find it hard pressed to find a plate that was kind of uh, 55 millimeters thick that the Jagdpanzer E100 couldn't also manage to go through with heat because heat will go up through to 85 degrees of angled armor. But remember, armor piercing rounds will actually go up to like 89.99% because there's no way to hit a 90 angled surface, right? So there's actually like a five degree margin between 85 and 90 where the armor piercing rounds, if you're overmatching, will actually still be better than high explosive anti-tank rounds. However, you'd have to be far pressed to find situations like that. And just look what 420 heat penetration can go into. That Yank Panzer, uh, they, sorry, no, the E100 on the enemy team was angling his turret about as much as he could. Stands no chance here. And just like that, in the first three minutes of this game, Manami is up to 3,000 damage. In Manami's defense about loading full gold in this round of World of Tanks, we will actually see that Manami is trying to do TD-15 Triumph for the Object 260. And to do TD-15 Triumph, it requires you to do 8,000 damage and also require 6 frags of the enemy team as well as also winning the battle. But it'd be quite a sad loss if you're able to do 8,000 damage and get six kills and not actually win. But I think that happened to me in my WTLV100 when I was first trying to do this mission. Gosh, it feels like probably about six years ago now or so since the per first set of personal missions went into the game. Minami is just in this dream scenario here where his team are holding the east or even actually advancing through the east and he's got a big number of tanks in the valley that are going to slow uh, the enemy down. And because there's no artillery, all of the enemy heavies seem to just be bundling up and just driving up one by one by one and almost forgetting about the Jagdpanzer E100. And this position for a situation like this, for a vehicle that only has six degrees of gun depression, is just absolutely awesome. It's hard to believe that Manami is actually managing to hide this gigantic tank that weighs over a hundred tons in a tiny little bush here. But it looks like the enemy team are actually in disarray, so much so that they might be giving themselves micro pushes. And the 60 TP seems to be complaining to someone on their enemy team who maybe is giving them a little bit of a shunt from behind. And they seem to be also between a, between a rock and a hard place right now with uh, the hard place trying to deal with Minami's huge penetration and big alpha damage. And well, I... I don't like these heat rounds. One thing I do like is seeing Object 279 E's punished. And just like that, 
Minami's up to 7,600 damage, and look at the last four rolls. 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, well, nearly 1,200 with those two rolls. Minami is high rolling right now. Let's see if he's going to be able to keep up the RNG as they're trying to zero in on an object 705, but looked for the 2790 there. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Cast a curse. Quacky Babs, why did you have to say that? The first shell that's missed in a good old while. And these shells are not cheap. I believe they cost like 7,000 credits a shot. Although, when you're doing 1,000 damage with 7,000 credits a shot, it still doesn't feel too bad. You can actually break even very easily with these. With these shells costing the same as the new HE rounds on the BZ-176. Oof, sir. Right into the side of the object 705A. And not only a th well, 994 damage, also an extra 682 afterburn there, reducing a full health Soviet heavy tank now to a one-shot, hopefully, for Minami's tank. And Minami is now up to 9,200 damage. Ah, uh, yeah, make that over 10,000 damage. And would you believe it, they actually leave the Object 705A on three hit points. It's almost insulting to leave your opponents on that many hit points after the Jagdpanzer E100 claims their, nearly their entire health bar with just two shots. All right, Minami, well done on doing more damage in, in six minutes than I've ever dealt in World of Tanks in the most casual fashion. You seem to be absolutely blessed in this game. Now, if we were to have a round like this, it would probably be an account record for, for the vast majority of players with regards to damage. But Minami still has work to do here. And as you may have seen in the title of the thumbnail, there's a lot more work that happens. The WZ 1115A, the first victim, with Minami claiming their second frag of the game. Two kills now and up to 11,000 damage. What, what, do all of the enemy team have 5,500 hit points each? It's just been a case of Minami getting quite unlucky with finishing off those low health targets. Or lucky, I guess, if you think about it from like a damage perspective here. 60 TP turns, thinking that they're going to get flanked or maybe just in disagreement with some kind of uh, heavy tank maybe giving them a little bit of a push behind there. I don't agree with the physics abuse in World of Tanks, but Minami seems to be lapping it up right now. Claiming over 12,000 damage now and picking up their third kill. They bounce around from the Leopard at the back of the map. Hopefully the Leopard's probably wishful thinking there, I think, that they're actually going to shove through this situation. And I probably wouldn't if I knew I had seven and a half minutes left and 12,000 damage up. It seems to be working just fine from here, Minami. Why don't you keep it going, right? And now Minami is up over that 8,000 <laughs> with an ammo rack. Blew the head clean off the Object 279 either. That is a very, very, very beautiful and awesomely fitting thing. So you get Tech Tree Tank Destroyer removing one of the most overpowered heavy tanks in the game with a clean kill there. Now Minami over 13,500 damage decides to move forwards. And I think the reason for that is that remember, Minami is trying to get six kills here to be able to do TD15 with honors. And you know what, Minami, if you can do over 13,000 damage and not be able to do TD15 with honors, I don't even know what this world is about. Okay, a low roll there for 954, but quite a few high rolls this game. I'm not sure Minami can be complaining. And there's still four tanks left on the enemy team, including a full health object 907, with Minami now over 14,000 damage. That's not something that you see very often in World of Tanks. Practically never. And we might be about to reach new echelons of World of Tanks damage record here, as Minami also pens the object 907, removing half of their hit points and putting their damage total over 15,500. However, there's only two tanks left, and for Minami to be able to do HT-15, they're also going to have to be able to get both of the kills. Alright, come on. This one time, please don't low roll. And with the shot from his ally in there, he secures the 907, and I like this focus. Not going for the mouse, but going from the 907 that would be focused down by their team. And hopefully, the mouse's armor will protect them for long enough for Minami to reload and take down one of the hardest missions to do with honors in the game for the object 260 and just like that ladies and gentlemen boys and girls that is i've never seen higher damage than that in world of tanks it's hard to claim it's a world record now with the fact that uh what replays doesn't keep all of the old school replays in the game but 16,673 damage have you ever seen more than that in world of tanks with minami the last vehicle standing 
in a graveyard that they pretty much created solo. When you think about 16,000 damage in World of Tanks, we're talking about over five to six entire health tanks at tier 10 vanquished by a single vehicle. And while Manami didn't even really have to drive more than several hundred meters in this game, their pixel perfect marksmanship with also those filthy high explosive anti-tank rounds in the dream scenario here against all of these vehicles just created a little bit of World of Tanks magic for them. And it kind of makes me feel a little bit lame in a way, thinking that I've been playing this game full time, arguably professionally, at least with regards to content creation, for 80,000 battles on my main account. And I only got about 66% of the damage that Manami managed to shut down here. Congratulations to you on what was one of the biggest spectacles of a game in 2022. So Manami titles this uh, what replays upload as easy 16 and a half K. You did make it look easy, Manami. Congratulations to you on that. And I, I just have to just keep looking at this number. 16,673, 1,845 base experience. That is bonkers for a tier 10 tank. And six frags there, which net them the Top Gun medal. And having dealt most of that damage at long range. Although when I look at it, only 2,700 of that was above 300 meters. Really shows you how much of an efficient position Manami got there. Now let me clarify, that situation for the Jagdpanzer E100 in that position is definitely not going to work every single time. But if you do get into those scenarios where there aren't so many artilleries in the game now and the enemy team feel more confident to push, whew, looks like Manami managed to make it work out here. And even though they spent 129,000 credits on ammunition, they still made a 34,000 credit profit. And that's not including the holiday ops bonus that's going on right now. That was just raw damage creating raw credit income. So, Manami, congratulations to you on the most damage I have ever seen in World of Tanks and one of the most ridiculous replays I have also had the pleasure to commentate on. Thank you so much for uploading your replay on the What Replays website. I truly enjoyed it and I hope all of you out there watching enjoyed this video as well. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. And let me know if it surprises you that the Panzer E100 is pretty much putting out a world record for damage here. And if you're watching this video as it goes live on Monday, I'm going to be going live all day long on twitch.tv forward slash quickiebaby, giving you all new weekly drops so you can get things like five times experience, premium time, as well as some pretty cool Christmas styles for the UDES and the Panzer 7. So come along, claim them, do your missions in game and spend your tokens in the drop store in World of Tanks. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.